It's smelling. Touch Wanna touch him again? See, he's so smooth. Isn't he smooth? Feel him. Go like this. He's not slimy at all, is he? Oh, he's nice and smooth. Good job. Hi, Cindy here, director of the Wildlife Sanctuary at the Children's Museum in West Hartford, Connecticut. I'd like to introduce you to one of our black rat snakes. This is Musty. Musty used to be someone's pet. He was given to the museum by his owners. Black rat snakes are common in Connecticut. They're one of our reptiles that lives here. He's about six feet long right now. Let me stretch him out so you can get a great look at him. I'm 5'6", so that shows you about how tall he is. He's going to get even longer than this, about 8 feet, but he'll always stay pretty skinny. He's not a very heavy-bodied snake. If you do see one of these in your yard, don't worry about it. It's not a venomous snake. Just move slowly next to it, give it its space, and respect it. Reptiles have some things in common. Reptiles are things like all of the snakes, the lizards, turtles, crocodiles, alligators, and tuataras. They all have things in common such as scaly skin. These snakes, about every three months, shed their skin. They start to look a little dull. Their eyes begin to look milky and they start to rub on things. A couple of days later, they start to peel that skin off. They'll rub their head up against rocks and logs and start to peel the skin. It comes off sort of like a sock the whole way down. It takes them about 10 to 15 minutes to do this. All reptiles are also cold-blooded or ectotherms, which means that their body temperature changes. If it's colder outside, their body temperature will be colder. If it's warmer outside, their body temperature will be warmer. They really need things outside their body to warm them up, such as the sun sitting on a warm rock. The reptile is also what we call a vertebrate, which means they have a backbone. Lots of people think because snakes are so flexible, they don't have a backbone, but they do. They actually have more bones than we do. Backbone the whole way down, and also ribs to protect their organs that stretch the whole way down their body. This snake is a carnivore, which means it's a meat eater. Most of them will eat rodents. They'll also eat things like frogs and eggs. This one here at the museum and all of our snakes eat rodents. What they do to hunt is they use their tongue. They stick their tongue out to catch smells in the air. They bring their tongue back to the roof of their mouth where they have what's called a Jacobson's organ. They insert the tongue into that and that tells their brain what they're smelling. They also use their sense of touch. If something's walking around on the ground, it makes a vibration. The snake can feel that. They also will use their sense of sight. Although it's not great, they do see things that move, which is why you may have heard to always move slow next to a snake. That way you don't scare it. Once they've found that rodent that they want, using their sense of smell and touch and eyesight, what they'll do is strike at it, which means they'll grab it with their mouth and teeth and wrap their body around. They squeeze and constrict that animal until it can't breathe anymore. Then they'll use their jaw and their teeth to start pulling that rodent down their throat. Depending on the size of that rodent, it'll take them about five to 10 minutes. If it's something that's very, very large, it could take them longer. And it takes them about five days to digest. So that snake doesn't need to eat for a long time. Our snakes here, this one, eats about four rodents every time it eats, and it eats every few weeks.